a difference. But as we talked about in the break there, several times this year, that first quarter has killed this Air Force Falcons team. They dig themselves a hole, and they won the final three quarters, but yep. they were so far behind after that first quarter that they never could get back into it. Yeah, but it was ultimately that hole that, that made the difference, in my opinion, and for the Falcons, who shot just 28% compared to Long Beach, 40%. Air Force, 60 shot attempts, possessions on this game, compared to Long Beach's 43. W you know, way more of efficient of a showing from Long Beach, but Air Force was able to do it on the glass. They out-rebounded Long Beach 40 to 35. A lot of that effort has to be credited to um, Jones, Haley Jones, who was phenomenal, just finished with 13 rebounds, eight offensive rebounds. You look at those turnover numbers, those were huge uh, for both teams. This was such a defensive chess match for the majority of the game. It was really hard to find an offensive flow, but like you said, Air Force kind of stayed the course. They settled in that second, third, fourth quarter. Brianna Autry, we're gonna look at some, some stats here, I'm sorry, some highlights here, but she was really a spark plug that gave Air Force some momentum into that fourth quarter, but literally, as you said, came down to the final second of the game, which ultimately was the difference. It really was. And that hole that was started so early in that first quarter was done by this young lady. She played really well today for the beach. That's Justina King, had 15 points and was scoring early and often, but the Falcons did a pretty good job on her in the second half. Here comes Air Force. You see Brianna Autry Thompson. She had 12 points today. We talked about her in the pregame of this basketball game. She had to come in, score her points, which she did. That was a really big one right there. We're getting the and one. Hit some big buckets down the stretch and was a real leader today. How about the passing inside to Riley Snyder? She has to be a scoring machine if Air Force is going to stay in this game. And when she hit, got hot late in the game, Air Force came coming back. It's not a coincidence that you see her hit the three-pointer there. Went back and forth. Air Force never could quite get the lead. When they'd get it within two or one, it would be who else but King hitting that uh, down the stretch. Just a two-pointer there. And prior to that, we had... Uh, a three-pointer, but then this is when things got interesting. That <laughs> is Gaddison hitting the three-pointer. There's King calling out a play, right? Look at the official behind her. He's saying he's already counting, and there you'll see the whistle. A five-second count, Rachel. You don't see that too often, but it clears day. Then Falcons have one more opportunity with one second left. They can't get it in. Don't get a shot off. That is your final score, 50 to 49. Falcons fall in this one but again what a finish I mean I I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like that to be honest with you the way uh, the end of that game finished but you know it, it's one of those games where it's like I said it's kind of a grind for both teams you have to give credit for the Falcons for staying the course and really gutting it out and giving themselves an opportunity you know you have a shot at the end of the game you get a few more free throws to fall I think you have to credit um, Long Beach and sure. the phenomenal job they did on the defensive end of the floor, primarily in that first quarter, ultimately is the difference in this game. But an opportunity, you know, I mean, both teams were tested in a way defensively. I don't think I've seen all year out of any other program in the country. Could not agree more. The non-conference schedule continues for the Air Force Falcons as they'll be back in action on Wednesday, December 8th, as they will play host to the UCCS team that's right here in Colorado Springs. Tip off for that one will be at 6.30 right here at Clune Arena. Hopefully you'll join us on Falcon Vision for that one. For Rachel Galligan, I'm Vince Greco. Good night, everybody.